Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna solve plate code 66 plus one. Keep in mind we've solved this problem before, but today we're just gonna go solving it with a different method, a different solution. So feel free to pause the video just to read through what the problem is asking for. But again, I find it examples more descriptive. Okay, so given a set of a list of digits like this, okay, you wanna add just one to these digits and return it. So in this case, we add to the last guy and return it. Obviously, there's an edge case if the digits is all nines. Obviously, we're gonna have to append a zero, carry a one, on and on. But anyways, we, we solved it this way in the past, okay? And this was our performance. Oh, okay, actually, no, this wasn't our performance. Our performance was, uh, was actually slightly better than this. Uh, it was this, okay? Our, our performance was this. But today, we're gonna solve it with a different method and see what's going on, okay? So in this case, as always, we're gonna solve it differently, but we're not gonna need to create a new variable. So here's how we're gonna do it, okay? We're gonna say for i in range. Okay, what range do we wanna go through? Okay, we wanna go from zero to the length of digits. Okay, but obviously we wanna do it in a reverse direction. Since every time we add or subtract, it has to be from the back. So we're gonna say reverse, okay. So now we're gonna say if the specific digit if the specific digit we're on is less than 9, okay, whatever digit is, if that digit is less than 9, we're just going to say, hey, digit, that digit, plus equal, well, we're going to increment him by 1, okay, and then we're going to return, okay, and that's it, we're done, right? But however, if that digit is not less than 9, what do we want to do? Okay, in this case, it's not less than 9, so we want to just say, that digit that's not less than nine set him to zero okay obviously because if he's not less than nine it means he's nine so nine plus one is ten so write a zero and carry a one but in that case we're gonna have to insert one okay so once we do this we're gonna have to insert one to this so we're gonna say digits the uh, insert at the zero index which is the front front of the list we want to insert one and then we want to return digits okay let's go ahead and run this code and see what, what's going on passes let's go ahead and submit it okay so so this method in this time is not as fast as previous way but again this was just to show you a different way of doing it okay so if we take one step further and we visualize it so this takes that same code i'm doing it for example where we have all nine so we can see what's going on so Okay, so we go ahead and declare a function and we call our function and pass in all nines to it. Again, we're iterating from the back. So i equals two, we're starting from the back, right? Okay, so if i, if digits of i is less than nine, in this case is not less than nine, it's equal to nine. So we're gonna skip the if statement entirely and we're gonna go ahead and change him to zero, just like this line says. In this case, where he's not less than nine, change him to zero, okay? And we're gonna go back up to the for loop, okay? Check the next digits okay so now i is gonna change to one because it was two before now it's one okay is he less than nine no he's equal to nine so we're gonna do the same thing change that digit to zero and go back to the next digit okay so now we're at zero is this digit less than nine no okay <laughs> we're gonna change him to zero and do it so so now the for loop should break and now we're gonna insert one to the front of the digits bam so that's it for the video guys i hope this was helpful and i'll see you and the next one.